welcome back to part two. As you can see, I decided to pull the grill here to get at my uh, timing cover. This is a uh, part two of the video where uh, I try and determine why there is no engine spark. Anyway, uh, in order to pull the grill, it was very easy actually. Right here was a screw and down here was a screw. And over here another screw and then another one right here. Very simple. And then up on the top uh, there was a plug and a plug and a plug and another little plug. Anyway you remove those that kind of grill comes right off. I also took the uh, condenser out. There was a a connection here, and then one over here. Of course, I taped them up. The condenser was held on with four bolts. Okay, after the condenser was removed and the the grill was removed, it made getting to the damper pulley much easier. I then removed this 15 16 bolt from the front end of the damper, and I used a impact wrench to remove it with. It is put on with about 170 foot-pounds of torque, 130 to 170 I believe, and it is really in there tight. I did put some uh, lubricant on the around the bolt here and around the washer. Okay, after I done that, after I did that, as you can see, I attached the puller to the damper and uh, proceeded to loosen it up. Now I've got it loose and uh, forgot to turn the camera on and that's why you didn't get to see all that but it's pretty much basic but remember you will need a impact wrench probably I would say to get this bolt loose and uh, my truck here is a four speed so I just put it in second gear to keep the engine from turning and if you have an automatic you may need to find a cutout in your flywheel and put a uh, bar through that to the block in the back and around the starter area take your uh, inspection plate off look for holes cut out in your flywheel and then uh, you'll put a bar in there and that should hold your uh, engine from turning once you start Okay, now that I've got the uh, damper pulley off, so to speak, okay, it's off now. It's pretty heavy. Now that the pulley's off, what I'm going to do is clean up the cover and uh, shaft, crankshaft to where I don't have to work as much in the grease Okay, the book says to loosen the first six oil pan bolts on each side so the oil pan will drop down a little bit in order to get this cover off here. Um, there looks like looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three bolts here that go through the oil pan. This is the oil pan right here, by the way. I'm going to loosen what I can loosen and see what happens. Okay, seems to be a 13 millimeter socket. I decided to use my electric impact wrench to loosen them just because I'm lazy today. I believe they're in at 13 foot pounds. Nothing really serious. And it helps if you get it on the bolt head. The ones on the bottom are a little smaller. In length than the ones around the outside of the cover. Here's an example. Don't know if you can see that or not. This is the cover. This is going in the bottom down here. Okay. I do not see, I do not even feel any more bolt. Okay, I got a fine chisel instead of a screwdriver and starting right here, now I can hear it loosening. Get enough under there. There. Very carefully. There's a reason they sell these. <laughs> and I suspect people break them. Alright, here we go, people. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you all can see that. And there's why she did not want to run no more. So, the teeth are gone. Yes, they are. Okay, as you can see, the teeth are, are missing from here to here. It's missing teeth. And this cam is the cam end of the camshaft is not turning. In order to get this off, you need a puller, and yet there is no way well, there is a way, but there's, it's rounded in the back, so a puller will slip. Slips off. And yet Ford has a special tool that they use for pulling these. So you can't find it anymore. Most people just chip the rest of this off, take a Dremel tool, and cut down to the bushing here and uh, cut slots in it and then pull it out, which is what I may have to do. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm going to have to do to get this out. And here's the inside look at the timing cover. I hope you can all see that. Some people recommend pulling the oil pan and cleaning out the uh, oil pump screen because of stuff like this and here's a tooth here and this is probably all pieces of tooth that if it do, if it goes through the oil screen great because then the, the uh, oil filter will catch it but if it gets like a bunch of these there's another one there so 
if you get a bunch of these teeth in the screen, then it's going to clog it up. Hopefully, if they go into the oil pan, they go down to the bottom and they will come out when you drain it. So, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, remove, clean this up and then I will remove this front seal here. This is the front seal. And I want to clean these up so I can see what I'm doing. And then I will put um, some sort of cover over this to keep this mess from going back down in there anymore, especially if I have to chip it off. Okay, I'm getting ready to pull this crankshaft gear off and these are the bolts I'm using to thread into the, the gear. Okay, they're number eight and their heads look like this. There, okay.
and here she comes. And there's the gear. What a nice gear. I'm going to clean this up, compare it to the new one. Okay, for my first attempt, I've drilled some 3 8 uh, holes, 3 8 bolt holes, uh, 5 16 drill bit, 3 8 tap, and I'm going to attempt to uh, pull the gear off this way. It will probably just break on up, but I have to give it a try. Get as many threads on it as I can. I tried to drill the holes as straight as I could. Alrighty then. I am going very slowly. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there with a little tension on it for a bit. See if that might help a little. Continuing on. I've let it sit for a little bit and it didn't seem to do anything. tight.
heard a pop. I heard a pop. Actually is coming loose. There's the bolt right there, and there's the other bolt right there. Two bolts, per, they were drilled just the way I wanted them to be. And there's the teeth that are all missing. All right. There's the inside behind the cam gear, uh, timing gear. This here is from my drilling. That's just fibers. And if there's a washer it's supposed to be in there, it's probably right there. There's the keyway. I'm going to clean all this up before I put, put it back together. So, nothing fell on the ground, and this is the way it is. This is what's there. Alrighty, back in a minute. <laughs> 